Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is how to make classic deviled eggs. This is a very easy recipe, so stick around and see how it's done. You'll need six eggs, white vinegar, yellow mustard, mayonnaise, pepper, salt, and paprika. So you'll wanna place your eggs into the water, let that boil. And once it gets to a rapid boil, you'll just wanna turn your burner off. Cover your eggs and set a timer for 14 minutes. When the timer goes off, you'll pour out the hot water and then pour cold water over the eggs to cool them down and keep pouring the water out and filling it back with a little cold until the eggs have cooled to the touch. And then I'm just showing here how I'm peeling the shell off. Once all the shells are removed, I go ahead and rinse the eggs down to make sure I got all the pieces of shell off. And here I'm just dabbing away the excess water. And then I'm gonna divide each egg in half and pull the yolk out and put it that into a separate bowl. You don't have to use this kind of container, but I do have this, it's much easier. So I put all the egg halves into the little slots. And then I'm gonna proceed with the yolk mixture. So take one fourth cup of mayonnaise, a teaspoon of the white vinegar, a teaspoon of the mustard, few dashes of pepper and an, about an eighth teaspoon of salt and just mix that together and make sure you crush the yolks completely you want it the you want the mixture to be very smooth so I'm just using a fork to do that pressing down and then mixing everything together to combine it nicely And you can always spoon the mixture right into the egg halves, but I would like to use this plastic bag, so I'm just gonna cut a little snip off the edge of it, kind of the way that some people use to frost cupcakes. Um, I'm just cutting that off, and then I'm just gonna put all of this inside the baggie. And making sure I get everything, I just brought in my spatula so I could scrape the inside of the bowl. And once everything's in there, you can go ahead and close that up and then I start to squeeze the mixture into the eggs.
And the last thing you'll want to do is sprinkle a little paprika on the top and then your eggs are all done. So this is a very easy, simple recipe and it's delicious. You should definitely try it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.